Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be on, or included in a 3 versus 3 battle with a random, random, randomies, what, whatever, oh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, with, versus General Ahmed, um, what, what's this, um, I don't know how to read that, there's a number 6, I don't know, Bobby R. Plyer, okay, so yes, the map will be <clears throat> Port Vijord, all right, so again, classic, classic, <laughs> classic naval warfare, and I love naval warfare, and I'm going to be positioned in the middle, and I'm going to go for Navy, okay, of course, before we start, smash the like button, turn on the notification to all notifications, so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel, and let's go. All right, man. Okay, I'm gonna be the green guy right in the middle. Okay, now the middle player here always acts as support, so I can either support, um, go full navy or some air and things like that. Now, I'm not really going to contest my with my partners on those containers or any container for that matter. That's why I did not really opt out for a barracks, I mainly built those first before the barracks because my aim is to get navy as soon as possible with the boost of construction now this guy right here will uh should have played some land and some navy depending on the circumstances that's why scout is essential this guy of course <laughs> navy okay scouting right here we're gonna have to fast forward a bit again to shipyard right off the bat getting those juicy container container man and i managed to sneak a container right there dude however um as much as i'd like to get a super container i am not able to do that with the caimans that i have apart from them not being maxed it's a bad idea using not maxed caiman even if i spam them now obviously i need more resources to spam the navy side of things and develop my base at the same time now i'm actually um, investing on those supply centers so as they will give me a benefit as the battle progresses due to more income than the rest of the players who only has like six or seven supply centers at the start okay deltas i'm already expecting him that's why i told my uh, yellow partner here to defend against those deltas however that one delta will be destroyed by nine deltas right here that alligator will be destroyed by nine deltas and then, yeah, I mean, you know where this is going. Um, those deltas are going to cause a bunch of inconveniences. And in retaliation, I'm going to have to put up a gun tower around here. Another power plant. Because they might actually swing over to my base and uh, ransack my base that is defenseless. Again, more delta coming from the CN player. Purple and the blue here. They're actually after that wasp or research facility, whatever that is. Okay, Sniper Tower, obviously gonna get owned. Okay, fast forward a bit. This is actually very good play from the Confederation, utilizing the use of those Deltas to maximize and abuse the super, the super duper slow Delta that can destroy buildings. As you can see, I don't know how many buildings it destroyed and how many rifle but now. Okay, that wasp there is actually quite upgraded. I wish that wasp was mine. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can't really do much about that. So I'd rather get into formation and position. Keep positions such as this. Limiting the uh, area, you know, where the confeds are able to go to. And uh, overall, gaining control of the map on the ocean side. Oh, oh man, that wasp. And finally, my riflemen's. Oh my god, the rifleman. Rifleman can kill Delta. That's not how it should be. Oh, oh no. Rifleman needs nerf. Okay. So, more alligators around here. Mm hmm. HQ level 4 on the way. Okay, and uh, I believe we got an enemy here that has been destroyed. Um, that's a Seraphim, I believe. 
We haven't been able to notice that because uh, it died. Lol. Okay. Getting the position. Again, those small aisle prevents the Vikings from firing their torpedoes. Hence, those alligators that are positioned behind the aisle for whatever physics. I mean, game mechanic. The alligator's bullets in the cannons of those Vikings still goes through that rock. But still, the Vikings will win. Okay, here we go. Good formation. And this guy right here trying to, you know, trying to somewhat go on a dangerous adventure. Research facility. I got like this right here going level 3. I'm gonna have to get that container. Partner doing the same thing. Okay, that's actually nice. Oh, you're so not gonna get inside my base or this, this fortress that I have built up. You see, those Vikings cannot fire their torpedoes, which means that my my alligator can fire at their, you know, can deal full potential damage regardless if there's an isle or not because I don't have torpedo as the secondary weapon. I have anti-air. Now, there's actually two players right here, and my yellow partner will go ahead and flank this guy from the side. Very, very good while I maintain this position. Only losing some alligators, and I actually destroyed a ton of Vikings from both the purple and the CN player. And right now, we're gonna have to take advantage of this situation and march over here and gang up on this CN player. Since majority of his forces has been annihilated, this purple player is some of the vikings has been alienated if not badly damaged so i'll leave some of my alligators around here to engage that viking okay here we go uh-huh that's not looking good man i mean one torpedo platform against like eight alligators is never really a good sign okay here we go shipyards now, if you have noticed, I'm actually engaging those Vikings while my partner destroys the shipyards, preventing more Viking production from the CN player. That's teamwork right there, man. That's mutual understanding. Okay, there you go, my man. Okay, and now, since I'm closer to the shipyard, I'm going to target it. And he actually responds by destroying the Vikings. Now that the shipyard is out, my turn to join in the fight and destroy the vikings again very good formation here on my end destroy those vikings from the purple weakening his uh, ability to somewhat defend his partner now again the the farmer the farmer pedo oh my goodness and then i'm gonna have to wreak havoc on this uh, cn player and as you guys can see ooh, man it's cooking something man let him cook let him cook but well i won't so again, this red player did not really opt out for the ocean, but he did have a shipyard right there. And he's mainly or primarily going for the land. So he's actually trying to somewhat, well, you know, <laughs> get into a formation of that bridge. Going back over the action right here, and I'm going to have to smash that HQ as much as I can. Force fire on some of my alligators to deal damage from afar, or whoever that's outside the range. Now... Leviathan is in production. Wow, th this guy had Avia for some reason. Two shipyard. Oh, man. Okay. Now, at this point, this uh, CN player can actually move his base uh, due to the pace that we're going. We don't really have that much here, and the enemy's uh, units are just spawning, you know. Well, apparently... This blue player did the same thing as the red player did. One shipyard and a platform. But the CN, the purple, and, well, there's like a blue Solaris right here. Okay. One Leviathan actually destroyed that shipyard, which is a great pickup. Going back over here. Come on, man. Come on. Okay. I think I may have to retreat then uh, further my losses. But again, I'm just maintaining this boost to have my alligators force fire near that HQ and let explosion radius deal the damage. Yep, I retreated and I'm going to have to rally my alligators around here. Meanwhile, both the yellow and the red 
are going to gang up on this uh, blue player and now both the CN or no the purple player will have to go over here and have that Solaris be used to defend instead of attack okay HQ is now gone okay that's actually good redness right there however there must be a nearby construction yard that that allowed that pr platform from being built okay and again massacre naval massacre oh my god what is that okay so both the red and the blue are actually holding this position going over here never really a good idea but if you see six alligators against the two platforms on range or in range of those alligators nah it's not a good sign not a very good sign okay so my leviathan super fast okay got more of that uh super container and then of course more vikings along the way managed to get rid of that of those platforms however at the cost of some units from the purple and the alligators that i got okay now i'm actually using a common attack boost to increase the speed of my leviathan and common scout boost here or no not common naval scout boost and uh this farmer oh oh um, um torpedo platform being built like an aisle let's look at that man torpedo platform walls okay here we go you have to try and get rid of those vikings oh come on there you go ah uh, crap okay more platform confed platforms okay two leviathans right here three alligators platform has not yet been rebuilt more alligator coming here from my end and i'm gonna have to try and deal as much damage as i can meanwhile the red players uh, leviathan will go over the top and wreck havoc anti-air i believe has been placed a ton of typhoons anti-air towers never a really good sign against my um you know never really a good sign to use a leviathan there Oh, what's he doing? You need to retreat, man. Come on, man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I was honestly surprised with that. Anyway, yellow players of uh, alligators are here. Seraphim. I believe I saw a Seraphim. There you go. Woohoo. Okay, that Viking will die. Nice. Alright, so we got like alligators left and right all over the map and more on the way. So with the super containers that I've been getting, my account or my profile or in this battle is rich in alligator production. Okay, again, I'm just, you know, trying to be as annoying as humanly possible here. Damaging those Vikings, weakening their combat potential. Scout right here again. Scout hidden on the uh, key locations of the map where you can see upcoming fights happening. Just like this one. Red player reacted accordingly in the hopes of intercepting that attack. Okay. So I'm going to have to try and attack some stuff that are outside the range of those anti-air. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not how you do that. Oh, wow. That hawk actually managed to score a good damage. Shield is activated. Oh. What? Come on, man. You better cover them. Cover, cover. Oh, my, my Leviathan died for unknown causes. Went on Porcupine Rambo mode. Okay, we see an engagement right here from my partner. The red and the blue. Now... This blue player moved at the bottom side of the map to avoid the alligators that I'll show later on. Now, he still has a very good concave. However, majority of the Jaguars has been destroyed. He only has five left. Oh my goodness, man. This is not a good sign. Meanwhile, on my end, just look at this alligator wall that I'm going to have to place right here. And destroy those two players right there with my alligators. Again... They're playing whack-a-mole right here. The Solaris, I believe, has been destroyed. 
Yellow player is a Leviathan came into the rescue. And those Zeus are actually double tapped at that mole, which has a passive active. Ooh, okay, I would say that's still a nice hit. Badly damaging or badly bruising up those um, units from the blue. Now, Yellow Blair actually came in here and got me idea of attacking, and here we go. Here we go, I have full command points, man. Uh, there's not really that much for him to use. Some of his Vikings are damaged because of my Leviathan. Oh my god, six platforms. Oh, good lord. Oh no, we got like 12 platforms here against a ton of alligators. Oh man, y you you need to attack, man. Okay. Shipyard for you, my friend. No more shipyard. No more uh, typhoon reduction, man. Okay, alligators are going strong. I got like plenty more here. Meanwhile, oh. What is this? Ah, pathetic. Okay, whatever. <laughs> GG. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys enjoyed that video, again, smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. Also, comment down below what are your thoughts into that video, and I'd really appreciate that if you could share this stream or video to any social media platform so we'll have more people in the comment section telling us their thoughts you know i would like to answer comments that are good or has me or has sense in them likewise guys thank you so much for watching have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles Bye bye